Why aren't more people upset about being underpaid and overworked? Being upset all of the time is exhausting. I'm already exhausted. Don't have time to be upset. I gotta go to work. Many are. They are just afraid of not having a job period. Then there are the ones who think if you've agreed to work for someone you don't have a right to complain because you agreed to join their business. Then there are the ones who believe in the American dream that they may be suffering now. But they'll be promoted and make good money later. Then there are the ones who have just grown apathetic as a defense mechanism. And on and on. Oh we're all fucking angry. But we also know nothing is gonna be done about it. Shit our own government can barely even keep itself open. Most can't strike because of money or the fact our healthcare is often tied to our jobs. There's no unions anymore anyways. Until everyone is ready to pick up arms and demand better. Not much we can do. I believe it's because at the end of the day people don't want to rock the boat and lost their job. Because a lot of us are alone. On some level. I know my life is my foe. Two degrees. On some level. It's not. I regret my major. I regret many health decisions. I regret being so sheltered and depressed in college. But a lot of the time I was ununderemployed. I was just looking for work. To complain when other people around you are successful and happy is to invite shame and humiliation. And judgment. God knows it happens on this site. Among strangers. I don't need more of those things. They define my life. Don't confuse not whining about it all the time with not being upset. A lot of people just feel helpless and they need to put food on the table so they can't stop to cry about it on the internet. Let alone organize a response. Because they are afraid of losing what little they have. That's how it's always been. So they're somewhat conditioned to accept it. Even if it's getting worse. People literally can't afford to do anything about it. Change. You won't believe how much people hate change and value stability. Corporate America has bank on this for decades. I'm glad to see younger generation not sticking with companies that don't pay them well. Our culture promotes passivity as a virtue. Everyone is upset. I don't know a single person who isn't. I'm ready to revolt when you all are. Why don't more people actually do what they are legally capable of to fight back and form a union? And stop voting against their own financial interests? Another one of these posts. People are clearly upset. The lack of recourse is the problem. We're too tired from being overworked. We are. But we can't afford to do anything about it. We make just enough to pay rent and hate life. We use the small amount of excess we get on small trinkets or food that bring us joy. No time or money for anything. Years of conditioning to be fine with it. They want people just smart enough to do their job but not smart enough to think on their own. Welcome to America. It's brainwashing from American capitalist culture. I was discussing this with someone else. And Americans who earn six figures often feel they are well off. Even rich however. They are just one medical emergency away from bankruptcy or losing their home. People have been conditioned to be hyper-individualistic and think it's their fault. Not the system. They buy into the idea that if they just work hard they'll be rich. They're afraid of getting fired and not having a place to live anymore. I think people are upset. But what are you going to do? Not work and become homeless? There has been times recently where I do not get to eat. Because food goes to my kid and wife. Sometimes just struggling to keep lights and heat on. Stockholm Syndrome. Largely concentrated in boomers but not limited to at all. Decades of capitalism propaganda. A lot of toxic masculinity in men. That gets preyed upon too. Too tired out to protest. 
Most people are one missed paycheck from struggling to barely surviving. The threat of being poor, while also demonizing and criminalizing the poor, keeps the struggling class in line. Too busy not dying to express their dissatisfaction, or pride. It's by design. If we are constantly in survival mode we don't have the mental capacity to formulate and execute a plan to stop the abuse. Maybe some are too depressed to care anymore. Cause they are tired. We are. We're just effing tired. And that's 99 of the point. People who are exhausted and poor can't realistically find the time for revolution. Slave mentality. Hope they don't bring kids into this is when I get upset. The concerned parents who refuse to do anything to secure a better the future of their offspring. Fox News told me that my boss is the good guy and Biden is the problem. Because we've been conditioned to feel privileged to have that shitty job at all. Poor people don't get many choices. Too tired lol. Because everyone in America thinks they are some magical billionaire waiting to bloom. A lot of people think they can get ahead just by kissing or deifying some rich guy's ass. Eight long hard years at my last job just to be replaced by a kid that showed up for a warehouse job in. A tux and converse. Fuck dude. I'm almost 40 with a four-year degree and I haven't been able to make more than $18 hour. And it's the most mind-numbing shit too. All the jobs I should be qualified for are looking for senior level experience for no reason other than that they just don't want to train people in using the specific software they have. Feels like I'm forever trapped working low-level bullshit. Because this has been done by degrees since the 1980s. Frogs and pots. If you drop a frog in a pot of boiling water they'll jump out. If you put the frogs in cold water and slowly increase the heat they'll stay. Until it's too late. Each little increase in duties wasn't enough in itself to get people to walk. We've now hit the point with decades of corporations and government driving wages down and forcing wage increases below inflation that people are finally saying nope. Fuck that. We are too busy working to be upset. I would be upset but I simply don't have the time to be. Because everyone's so overworked and underpaid they don't have time to be upset. Most people after a hard day of work just want to binge Netflix and drown out the fact that they gotta wake up and do it all again. Social media gestures at everything. It's the perfect distraction piece. We are too tired. What can we do? End up homeless and dead? Personally, the only time I've felt underpaid and overworked was in the military. Now that I'm out I'm making good money. And the hours are pretty good most of the time. I work night shift as a supervisor in a distribution warehouse not Amazon our summer hours can be. And have been as long as 14 hour work nights. But our fall and winter hours can be as short as 6 hour work nights. In the civilian world, I don't believe I'm being underpaid for my job and skills. Maybe I got lucky. Maybe some people gotta look harder for better jobs I DK but I support people finding great jobs and doing what they like. Got bills to pay sadly. We are upset about it, but what can we do about it? Because it's so normalized in our culture. Being upset doesn't pay rent, the electric bill or buy groceries. Because they're drinking the water. Man shrugging medium skin tone something's making everyone stupid and lazy. Everyone's a zombie. I am. Not even the money. One of the other managers talked to my team like a dick. So fuck them I'm going back to school next year. Because you're upset as well as poor. Because being upset requires energy a lot of us don't have the luxury of spending after using all of it at work. There's nothing productive to be gained from it. 